A Waxahachie mother is upset that her 10-year-old son with special needs was arrested at school. Arrested, a 10-year-old. But she's more upset over the way the school district handled it. She claims her child was taken to jail without her ever knowing about it. Alex Boyer is in Waxahachie with a story you will see only on Fox 4. Alex. Well, Steve, the mom says that her son has the mental ability of a three-year-old. Now, he spent the night at the juvenile detention center yesterday, or last week, I should say, after assaulting at least one staff member here at the elementary school. Now, mom tells me that what her son did was absolutely wrong, but she also feels that the school mishandled what happened next. Oh, come on. Let the everybody see how handsome you are. Tristan Jaber may look like any other 10-year-old boy. But mentally, Tristan functions more at the level of his little brother. Having a child with special needs is a daily struggle. It's not easy. Your whole day is built around them. Tristan is a student at Dunaway Elementary School in Waxahachie. Tuesday of last week, his mom said she got a call from the assistant principal saying Tristan had become violent with staffers and was being suspended. And that was wrong. And I have told him that. You don't hit people, you don't kick people, and you don't bite people. That is not okay. Ryan Jaber doesn't have a car, so she called her father in law to pick Tristan up from school. When he got there 20 minutes later, Tristan was gone. I wasn't told that the police were called, and I wasn't told um, that Tristan had been taken down to the police station until after the fact. That's the part that has mom upset. I called Waxahachie ISD to get some answers. In a statement emailed to Fox 4, a spokeswoman said, in part, police responded to an incident at the school and, based on their observations, made the decision to take a student into custody. Any further questions can be referred to the Waxahachie Police Department. So I stopped by Waxahachie Police to try and get some answers. I was told it's a juvenile matter, so I'd have to submit this open records request in order to get any information. Both the school district and police declined to comment on camera. Tristan's mom is so frustrated by the situation, she started a Facebook page entitled Justice for Tristan. Most of the comments so far have been supportive from moms with special needs children. She hopes the exposure, both on TV and online, will lead to some sort of positive resolution. They don't have a voice. We have to be their voice. And so I'm here being a voice for Tristan. And Tristan has already served his one-day suspension. He faces three counts of assault, although we won't know the details surrounding his arrest because, again, he is a juvenile, and it could take up to 10 days for us to get a response from that open records request. Steve? All right, Alex, I suppose I understand the, the police department's hesitancy in giving you information. It's juvenile. It, it's complicated as a reporter. But what I'm sensing the mom can't get information from police about what happened also? Yeah, believe it or not, Steve, she can't. She says that she's run into the same problem, that she's asking police for these details and that she was also told to submit that public records request. Now, get this. She says the worst part, really, as a mother is the fact that she was not able to see her 10-year-old son for 24 hours. That is the time that he was held at the juvenile detention center. She had put in a request to see him in person, and she says that she was denied that request. She was only able to briefly speak with him over the phone, and then, of course, saw him the next day once he got out of that juvenile detention center. Steve. All right. Alex Boyer, thanks.